Alright, so the other day I uploaded a short of me making a kimchi poutine with grilled Korean short ribs, and almost immediately I had people asking for the recipe. So today, I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm also mandated by the government as a Canadian to have at least one poutine recipe on my channel. Now in all honesty, I pulled this recipe out of my ass one afternoon, mostly because I was craving poutine, but I also had some short ribs in my freezer that needed to be used up. So it's a recipe of convenience. But you know what else is convenient? Giving this video a like and consider subscribing. I release new episodes every Wednesday. We're going to start with the short ribs first, since they need some time to marinate. It doesn't matter what cut you use for this either. Whether it's a full bone like this, or the typical Korean or Hawaiian cut that's thin and across the bone. You want as little fat and silver skin on this as possible, since we're only going to be grilling them for a few minutes and they won't have time to break down and render. Normally you'd marinate these for several hours or overnight, since this is such a tough cut. But to reduce that time considerably, I'm going to cut them very thin and score them on both sides. This will make them super tender and maximize the surface area for the marinade. Speaking of which, we're going to need a few cloves of garlic, a small nub of ginger peeled and roughly chopped, and an onion also peeled and roughly chopped. Add these to a blender or food processor along with some sesame oil, soy sauce, kosher salt and freshly cracked black pepper, apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, and gojujang, Korean hot pepper paste. Blitz until well combined, then add the marinade to the ribs and allow them to sit for at least 20 minutes. In a large bowl, add cold water and a good amount of kosher salt. This is going to be a brine for the fries, which will help them stay golden brown and super crispy. For the potatoes, I'm using good old fashioned russets, because no other variety reigns supreme over fries and chips like russets. Now normally I prefer a shoestring fry since their crunch to soft ratio is like 8 to 1, but for poutine you generally want something a bit thicker, otherwise they'll get too soggy too fast from all of the gravy. Add the fries to the brine and let them sit for at least 20 minutes. Make sure your hair game is strong and add about a cup's worth of kimchi to a food processor or blender. Initially when I did this I just used water, but decided to add chicken stock instead this time and the resulting gravy was far better but you can use vegetable stock or water if you'd like. We basically just want kimchi juice, so using a fine mesh strainer or cheesecloth, extract as much of it as you can from the pulp. Don't throw this stuff away though, you can add it to soups and sauces or dehydrate it to make kimchi powder. Set a heavy bottom pot over medium high heat with 2-3 to three inches of cooking oil like canola. Strain the fries and shake them dry. Once the oil reaches a temperature of 325 degrees Fahrenheit, carefully add the fries and cook them for 4 minutes. To maximize the crunch and tenderness of the fries, we're going to be cooking them three times. In a small pot set to medium-low heat, throw in a heaping tablespoon worth of butter and slowly add all-purpose flour while whisking until it resembles small mealy dough. Allow the roux to cook for a minute before adding half of the kimchi juice. Whisk everything until it's nice and smooth, then add the remaining juice. Season with a pinch of pepper. I'm using white pepper, mostly so it looks prettier. Continue whisking on medium-low heat until it's smooth and viscous and passes the spoon test. Return the fries back to the oil, still at 325 degrees Fahrenheit, and cook for another 4 minutes. For the short ribs, you can sear them in a pan with a little bit of oil or use a cast iron grill pan, but if you have access to a barbecue, then definitely go with that. The char and smokiness of the fire makes the poutine that much better. They'll only take around 3-4 to four minutes per side, so just take a moment and appreciate the day. The sun, the birds singing, and this filthy poutine you're about to devour. Allow the short ribs to rest for at least 5 minutes, then cut them up into bite-sized pieces. Increase the temperature of the oil to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and fry the fries one last time, until they're golden brown and crispy AF. Season generously with kosher salt. How do you know they're seasoned enough? Only one way to find out. Then bust out your fanciest bowl and pile the fries in. It's not a poutine unless it has real cheese curds, but if you can't get any and you want to use whatever cheese you have on hand, that's fine too. You do you. Spoon the kimchi gravy over the fries, making sure the cheese curds are coated so they get all gooey, and top with the smoky short ribs. And that's it! Kim- wait, I feel like we're missing something. Ah, that's better. And that's it. Kimchi poutine with grilled Korean short ribs. I gotta say, I was pretty happy with how this turned out, and definitely didn't mind eating this a couple times, even though I had to share. If you like my content and are interested in supporting my channel, you can check out my coffee page. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching, and stay awesome.